Tunakupenda. The decision by Deputy President William Ruto allies to join in the BBI consultative meeting starting with this Saturday's forum in Mombasa continues to kick up a storm between politicians from across the political divide. And with only a day to go before the Mombasa event, the DP has broken his silence, accusing the former Prime Minister of hijacking the process, saying the document was not put together for a single individual. But speaking in Nairobi, Odinga rubbished the claims, saying that he has not expressed any interest in the presidency in 2022. I've never said that uh, I want to be a president in 2022. So th this is how misguided some of those people are. Speaking in Mpakasi West on the outskirts of Nairobi County, Ruto also told of those giving conditions regarding attendance of the Mombasa meeting. Mambo ya BBI, sio ya kunihi, chama ile, ama watu wale. BBI ni ya wakenya wote. They realized that this is not aimed at giving any particular individuals advantage. It's not aimed at uh, elections of 2020, 2022 rather. Odinga faulted a section of leaders accusing them of turning BBI into a discussion about succession politics to sabotage the process. However, the Tanga Tanga faction have maintained they will not be intimidated whatsoever. It will be very misguided and unfortunate for anybody to, to try to think that he can sabotage this exercise. <laughs> In Mombasa, the governors who will play host to the thousands of delegates who will attend the meeting affirmed their support for the meeting while warning any leader who attempts to disrupt the meeting. Hatuwezi kamwe kukataza mtu kuja kwa mkutano watonono kasiku ya jumamosi. Tunawakaribisha wote kwa mkutano, Kenya yetu ni moja, sisi ni wamoja. Lakina imanishu ukija kwa mkutano pia lazima upewe na fasi uonge. For us, people of Central, we welcome anything that will bring unity to our people. We need to ditch the kieleweke, the tanga tanga, the embrace, the inua mama, and work as one. And finally, I'm happy to see that they have heeded my call. Daniel Karioki, K24 TV.